Hey everyone, we are going to make a rainbow cupcake. This is a special project that we are doing because it is Viridian Arts ninth birthday. We've enjoyed teaching everybody for the last nine years and we look forward to so much more. So we wanted to celebrate by creating a birthday cupcake with you. You're gonna need pencil and eraser and something to color in with. I'm going to be using two different materials. I'm gonna be using watercolor and color pencil. You can do this whole project in crayon or oil pastel. You can do the whole thing in watercolor or all in color pencil. Um, you can even use paints for this as well. So all I need to begin is my pencil and eraser. I'm going to start with the cake part of my cupcake. So right about center, I want to create a nice big oval. Notice I'm going really, really light until I have my oval just right. You can erase anything you don't need. You want to make a nice smile shape just below my oval that I made. This is for the bottom of my cupcake. So it's about an inch or inch and a half away from my oval. If you don't know what an inch or inch and a half is, it can be about two or three finger spaces from your oval. Notice this smile shape is not as big as my oval. And I'm going to connect from the edge of my smile shape to the edge of my ovals to make the sides of my cupcake. I'll do the same thing over here. And I'm going to make the stand that my cupcake is on. So right about center, I want to make a nice big oval. It's for the top of my stand. Imagine it going through your cupcake. We don't want to draw the line there, but imagine what it would look like if it went right through. So you know where to connect it on both sides. Just below that, I'm going to follow that line just along the bottom. This is about a finger space away. And when I come to the sides, I want to make a nice vertical, vertical straight up and down, vertical line to connect the edge of my cupcake stand to the bottom line that I just drew. Just below that, I'm going to do a small little half circle for the base. I'm going to draw that half, that small little half circle. Notice it's right below my cupcake. I'm going to draw one more half circle. And I'm going to make a nice oval shape. And I'm going right through my circle that I just drew but I will erase that out. So I want all of these to be perfectly lined up with one another. You really can make your stand look however you would like. We're gonna make the frosting of our cupcake. So just above my beginning oval, I wanna draw a wavy line. So notice it's very rounded at the top, wavy at the bottom. Erase out your oval that goes through there. This can be as wavy as you want it to look. This is for the frosting, so it does not have to be perfect in any way. I'm gonna make that same shape, just a little higher, maybe a finger space above that same wavy shape. Nice and rounded at the top. This is for my second little layer of frosting. And I will draw one more that comes to a point. And erase out. Right in the center, I'm going to draw a candle coming right out of my frosting. I'm going to do the same little curved shape so it's curved at the bottom, curved at the top, nice straight edges, and erase on the inside. 
and I'm going to draw a little candle wick and really lightly put in a nice flame at the top. So it looks like my candle is lit and I'm going to draw a really light zigzag going right along my oval that I started with. So notice how it's not very long, it's staying pretty close to my oval. So I'm going to use color pencils. From there, I'm going to start coloring in. I'm going to use some colored pencils. So for the cupcake wrapper, you can use whatever color you would like. I'm going to press pretty hard right at the top of my wrapper. I'm going to make nice bold lines. Once I have that colored in, I can erase my oval. Um, the eraser shouldn't erase the color pencil, so it should show if you're doing it with crayon, same thing. We just don't want to see that bottom oval anymore. I'm going to do the edges nice and outlined. And from there, I'm going to make a line everywhere that my little zigzag line points upward. I'm going to make a line down to the bottom. As I come to the edges, my lines are just angling a little bit. I'm also going to shade in the bottom of my cupcake. So using whatever color you use for the wrapper, just on one side, I'm gonna kind of shade in the bottom corner. And follow carefully along the bottom, going lighter and lighter. And then softer, I'm gonna make a light, nice light line with the same exact color going from everywhere that my zigzag points downward right to the bottom. So now I have that filled in. I am going to start on my candle. Your candle can be any colors that you'd like. You can use gray or you can make it a color. I'm gonna use a little bit of a purple and I'm going to shade in just one side of my candle along the bottom and slightly on the other side of my candle. Oh, and I can do the little candle wick also. And you can color in your flame. I'm gonna do all yellow with a little bit of red in the center. layered right on top. So I'm going to start coloring in my frosting. I want to go in rainbow order when I, I'm going to start with red and work my way through the rainbow. So just at the very bottom of my frosting, I am going to shade in following along the wavy line that I made. So on this whole bottom layer, I want to fill in with red, orange, and yellow. So I want to make sure that I'm leaving space to fit all three of those colors in this bottom layer. I'm going to switch to orange. and switch to yellow. And then my next layer, I'm going to start with green and work to blue and purple to get the last three colors of my rainbow in there.
and my last color, purple. I'm gonna fit in all my colors in this last layer. So I'm gonna start with my red. So make sure that your colors aren't taking up too much space so we can fit all of our rainbow colors. So now that my frosting is filled in, I'm going to use some watercolor. I'm going to wet my brush and pick out a color for my cake. If you want chocolate, you can do brown. I am going to use this kind of goldenish yellow brown and I am going to fill in right underneath my frosting, right up to the very edges of my cupcake. And I'm going to get into those little triangles. Once I have that filled in, I'm gonna get a little bit more paint on my brush, this time less water, and just right underneath my cake part, I'm gonna go a little darker with my color. If you're using crayons or oil pastels or color pencils, all you have to do is with the same color, press harder and shade in. I'm also gonna do these little triangle shapes. And if your color is too bold, like mine is, we're gonna use just a cleaned off brush. I'm gonna clean my brush dry it and you can just carefully paint right where those two light and darks are touching. And it just blends it just a bit. Now I'm going to paint in my stand. Feel free to use whatever color you want. I'm going to start off filling in the whole thing. Every time your brush runs out of water and paint, get more. I'm gonna paint right down into that front section of my cupcake stand. and continue painting all the way down to the base of our stand. Once it's filled in, I'm gonna get a little bit more paint with a little less water, and I'm going to put a shadow on one side. So this is by using more paint less water so the color is much stronger. I'm also going to do that same thing on the front base of my stand. So it's a little darker than the very top oval. And I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom of each of my little circle shapes, creating a little shadow. And if the color's too strong, just wipe it off. So I just cleaned my brush and dried it and you can wipe it off. And 
And that's all the steps for our birthday cupcake. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson and see you next time.